So my name is Hugo Hidalgo. I'm a server of uh, our bazooka restaurant. Uh, a part of my life is uh, being you know, a long history. Can I can read read a book? Um, I moved in uh, to United States in 1996, the first time. Ever seen big buildings and big cities. I used I used to live in here in Paris, and um, I moved for reasons of family. My father invited me to come by. And I moved there for a couple of years. I'm meeting uh, good people, I'm meeting uh, good friends. It's something new for me. It was like I was 20, 20 years old. And those, in those age, uh, life is kind of short and different. Like there's no many uh, things to do and then and then I be come from the, uh, a small family from from the uh, high hills and uh, farmers in high hills in Santa Elena of General Viejo. And then everything was kind of different for me because I'm a kind of person than always being at home, never travel anything for it. Because maybe because of uh, economy situation or whatever. So when I moved there, it was something different. It was like a, a big, huge experience. My first, my first experience was in the, in the Miami International Airport. It was like a big city, like bigger than Paris. So I traveled with, um, with the cousin of mine. We got a kind of situation with, uh, to move inside the United States for it. So anyway, um, I lived there for like, Three years. I'm meeting good people. I meet him. One of my good good friends. Name is uh, Catherine Sonnenberg. She was a, my closest friend I've ever seen. She was very helping. She teach me a, a good part of my English for her. So and I have a good relation for her. But anyway, later on, I'm meeting another girl. As my as a, another part of my history. She's from Israel. She was a very nice kid. Well, we are. We're teenagers, like kind of teenagers, because like we are twenties. So we meet in, the, in the, one of those good, nice days, and then she came to be a very close part of my 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 heart because she was she was she was we getting a good relation, and then and we come to be in a couple, and then later on we have married. We moved into Israel for, she was, I'm sorry, she was from Israel. She, uh, she, we moved into Israel for, for a while. And for reasons of, uh, of family and then my uh, legal situation in Israel, we have to move back to Costa Rica for, for a while, visit my family. And then that's when my fat, my dad passed away. So anyway, and she was very close to me. Very, very, she was my right hand in that moment for it so um we move here and we we back again to israel and then we got separate for religious and uh cultural situations uh we can be together for a sad part of, of my history for anyway and then i'm back to costa rica years later and meeting my second wife that's going to be the mother of my first kids and and then we got a good relation for a couple of years. Sorry, it was part of my, and I got separate later on, like a couple of years ago. So, but I have two daughters, named Samantha and Melissa. They're two very kind uh, little women. They're they're already in the age to be like a professionals and things nice. like that. So. Uh, and that's it. That that's 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 part of my history, a part because I'm. I don't know when I'm going to be ready for writing a book, because I can be talking about many things for hours and hours, and it's, and that's part of. So that would be so interesting. <laughs> yeah, we 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 encourage people to write books. It's good to get out, and we also we what we what we see in our interviews throughout Costa Rica. We seek people like you and Bernie who have been around the world. Many Americans don't travel enough. They stick in San America. Mm -hmm. They don't have an idea that people are like people, that 
people are all human and you all have the same needs and wants and desires and go through mm -hmm. the same thing. It doesn't matter where you come from. I don't care where it is. Right. We're all the human race. Mm -hmm. And be human, we like to laugh and have fun and, mm -hmm. and we make mistakes, but mm -hmm. we survive the mistakes and we keep going on life so we live life. Right. Viva. Like Viva Costa Rica. Live life here. Yeah. Know? We're in Pura de Vida, you know, the pure life in Costa Rica. Yeah. Who can complain about living here? That's right. Yeah. I have one thing to interject, and I want to say, Hugo has a personality that just exudes smiles and connectedness. You are the type of person that pe you draw people to you because you are sincere. Mm -hmm. You are honest and you have to take it. So that's one thing that I want well, to say. The, I, I guess it's part of my personality and comes in my, in my, in my blood. Comes in my blood because uh, I, I have no chance to, to go to finish the college and then finish the high school or going to university for economy situations. So you have, I think you have to try to live the life the way it is, you know, like the, don't be blamed about. Of course, you, you one of those you having a bad days, but uh, you have to live. Well, what do you have? I always try to tell my kids. I have part of the rest of my history. I have like a, my my third wife. I have two stepsons, and they're they're very proud of me for the things I see and and then face. They're, they're very they're very nice kids too so I try to give you an example of my life to them to behave nice to people like it is like being like a, like a like a human like you told like like being a, have something like in your heart like you uh, is uh, you have you being sensitive to to hardest times and then this job that I do for the last 20, 25 years, teach me about like uh, respect and what do you do? It doesn't matter if you've been working in a big company, getting like a thousand dollars every single moment, making good money, but you are unhappy. You are unhappy. You being like, uh, I mean, I got my problems like everyone has, but it's like, it's what do you ha what do you have? I mean, if you don't born in the, in the in the rich family, but the rich family sometimes they are they are not happy. So well, you know, Jesus the Messiah said on the mount, and what he's talked about, he talked about the golden rule. The golden rule you do unto others is you want them to do unto you. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take money to be happy into that golden rule. Now, people that don't do that and they're greedy and arrogant and they mm -hmm. for themselves. Mm -hmm. They're not living happy. You can't be really happy until you treat other people the way you want to be treated. And that's what Betty and I want to share with other people in Costa Rica and show in our video. We don't want anything in return. We just want to yeah. give. That's just, I don't know if it happens to me too because it's like uh, I'm always able to give it him. Like I see many, uh, I'm sorry, many of my people um, try to take advantage of uh, of stranger people, like, and the funny thing is, like, they don't even speak second language, and they always have an, a something from the others, and it's like, I don't know if they just try to take a benefit from from the good people, and they always give you an ad advice to to them, well, to the people from other countries, try to be with the right people mm -hmm. because we are good people because we can so we can uh, people they're good but someone doesn't feel like like okay let me take a chance to get in something from the from them but it's like in my case i'm sorry probably i'm gonna be poor so the rest of my life because i'm a rich in my heart you're rich in your heart i'm rich in my heart and betty i would like to end this interview i want you to go over since i have the camera I want you to give our son over here a hug. Oh, by all means. <laughs> I love hugs. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet yeah. you guys for yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, we have, I hope we're having a, a Thank good, you, amigo. A, the rest of our relation are going to be better. Forever. Yes, Forever. Forever. Yep. Yeah. Very well. Yeah.
Thank you.